hello everyone welcome back to my channel so so far on this channel we have created some beautiful looking app bars but what comes before the app bar yes you guessed it right it is the splash screen so in today's video we are going to be looking at an easy way to create a splash screen in flutter so here's what the end result looks like so the end result is pretty simple so first you have the splash screen and after 4 or 5 seconds the splash screen disappears and is replaced by a main screen. So I already have this very simple flutter app, it just says sample text, there is nothing more to it. And I also have created a couple of screens. So the first one is the home screen which is just a block of text that says welcome. And the second is the login screen. It is just a couple of text fields and a button. So these are just the, uh, just for the sake of the example, they don't have any actual functionalities. So before we begin coding, we need to do some preparation. So the first thing we are going to be needing is a font. I am going to be using this font called Pacifico Regular. You can find it on Google Fonts. I will leave the link in the description so you can find it yourself. So here is the page for the Google Fonts. You can just select this font and download and it will give you the zip file containing the TTF file. And we are just concerned with the TTF file. So I'm just gonna copy the TTF file and put it inside my project. So I'm just gonna create a new folder named Assets and inside of it, I'm going to create a folder named Fonts and I'm going to put it inside the Fonts folder. And the second thing is uh, the background for our splash screen. So I'm going to use the starry background for our splash screen. Make sure our background is a little faint so that it doesn't seek too much attention and uh, it doesn't take the attention from the logo that we are going to be creating. So I'm going to create an IMG folder for the background and I'm going to paste my background inside it. And the last thing we are going to add is a package called uh, Shimmer. So Shimmer is a really good package if you want to create the Shimmer effect. And we want to use the shimmer effect on our splash screen with our logo. So we are going to be importing this package as well. So we'll just add it to our dependencies in the popswap file. So let's do that. And at last, we'll just proceed by adding all the dependencies in the popswap file. So first, we'll add the image dependency. So just assets img.pg.png. Second, we will add our fonts dependency. After that, just do a packages get, so Flutter will update all the resources, and you are good to go. So as always, we are going to be creating our widget inside a new file, so let's create a new file. So as usual, we'll begin with the material import, and this time around, we'll also need the Dart async import, so we'll also do that. So we are going to be creating a stateful widget because we need the init state call. We are going to be calling our widget splash screen. So in the first part, we are just going to design the UI of our splash screen and uh, in the second part, we are just going to be adding the behavior to the splash. So we are going to start with a scaffold and in the body, we are just going to be creating a container. So the child of this container is going to be a stack because we want to overlay stuff on top of each other. We are going to be using a stack. So the alignment of this stack is going to be center and we are going to give it children. So there's going to be two children. So the first one is going to be our background image and the second one is going to be our text logo. So we are going to use the image.asset and we are just going to pass the asset to our background.png or bg.png. And so we want our image to be very faint. We are going to wrap it inside an opacity widget and we are just going to cut the opacity into half. So we are going to set the opacity to 0 0.5. Now we'll just run our app to see how it looks and we can hot reload. So there we go, our app is up and running. Now we are just going to replace our sample text container with the splash screen so we can actually see what it looks like. So there we go, we got our uh, we got our background working. 
now it's time to make the text logo so let's get to it so here we are going to be using the shimmer animation so the shimmer package is really easy to use all you have to do is wrap your widget inside the shimmer dot from colors widget and pass it the base color and the highlight color and it will take care of the rest this is why i love this package it's really easy to create shimmer effect with it inside the shimmer dot from colors i'm going to be passing my text widget so i have already picked out the highlight and the base colors but you can pick anything you want and then i'm going to pass my child i'm going to use container because i might need to use the padding so the child of this container is going to be a text i'm just going to write my channel name here for the example and i'm going to give it a style so here the font size is going to be 90 and the font family is going to be pacifico which we imported at the start that's about it and we just hold reload so you can see our splash screen is almost complete but for the aesthetics i'm gonna give the text some drop shadow so let's do that really quickly So if your text is being cut off like mine, then you can just give the give some padding to your outer container and it should solve the uh, it should solve the issue. So I'm going to be giving the padding of 16. So there we go. So the visual part of our splash screen is ready. So the kind of behavior that we want to add to our splash screen goes something like this. So our splash screen comes on the screen then after four or five seconds it should disappear and it should replace our home screen or the login screen so we are going to be creating a mockup function that would just check if the user is signed in or not so remember it's just a mockup function so we are just going to have a fixed return value and i'm just going to add a fixed delay to it so i'm just going to make it async so i'm going to be adding a delay of five seconds to it and I'm going to pass in uh, an empty callback for the second argument. And after that, I'll just return true. So the idea is that if this function returns true, we should head to the home screen. And if this function returns false, we should head to the login screen. So I'll just create the convenience function to navigate to home screen and to navigate to the login screen. So one important thing to remember here is that you are supposed to be using the push replacement method and not just the push method. Because if you use just the push method, then when the user is taken to the home screen and they pick up and they press the back button, they will be taken back to the splash screen. And we don't want that kind of weird behavior. So remember, use push replacement and not push. So push replacement will basically just replace the splash screen with the home screen or the login screen. So when the user presses the back button, they will just exit the amp rather than getting back to the splash screen and finally to put it all together we are going to be overriding the init state method so inside the init state we are going to be invoking our mock method and based on whatever it returns we are going to navigate to home screen or the login screen so if the status is true we are going to be navigating to home and if it's false, we are going to be navigating to the login page. So one thing to remember here is that we are, for session checking, we are using a mockup method that takes a fixed delay of five seconds. But in an actual application for session checking, you would use something like a database or an API. So both of it take an indefinite amount of time to actually authenticate the session. So while it is authenticating the session, you can show the user the splash screen. So what I'm trying to say is that you can run any kind of Dart code behind this splash screen. So let's hot reload. So after five seconds, we will we should head to the home screen. There we go. So as you can see, currently our map function returns true, so it will take us to the home screen. And let's set it to false. So now our splash screen should return to the login page.
So as you can see, now it took us to the login page. So one of the big benefits of this splash screen is that it's not the native Android splash screen, but this splash screen is written in pure Dart, so you can run some Dart code behind this splash screen, which the native splash screen won't allow you to do. So there we go, our neatly functioning splash screen is ready to roll and you can use it as a loading screen or you can do some background work while the user enjoys the splash screen. The point is that this splash screen can be used on any app since it's so easy to implement. So why not give it a try? So that will wrap up today's video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and for more content like this, hit the subscribe button. So I'll catch you in the next video. Till then, keep coding and keep creating.